white line, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to The King City Chronicles. Hello kids, Scripture Guy here. I'm so excited for this season of the year. I love Christmas. In fact, I got the best Christmas gift for the Philistine. Oh, I can hardly wait to see his face when he opens it up. <laughs> oh, hey, Scripture Guy. Oh, hello, Kingdom Crusader. Look at this nifty gift I got for the Philistine. Oh, wow. You haven't seen him around, have you? Oh, no, he went home to Godly Acres. What? He did? Yeah. Oh, but... He was so helpful and useful around here in King City. I know. Oh, wow. I'm going to miss that big lug. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, but he ran the best ad in the King City Herald, and he yes. helped spread the good news about Jesus. He even went to see the obliterator in prison. But he said it was time to go on home to Godly Acres and reunite with Aunt Till, I mean his wife. Tilly, yes, and to go to his hometown. Well, I can understand that. We must remember our home place, our birthplace, and yes. our family history because it's very important. God gave it to us. In fact, God also gave a birthplace and a family history to his son. Yeah. Let me show you in the good news right now. All right. Good news. Good news. Good news. All right. Now, you know, God could have let Jesus be born any place. He could have chosen any place because he was the king, but he chose the least likely place. Oh, you mean the manger. Well, yes, the manger, but I also meant Bethlehem. Oh. Bethlehem wasn't a big capital city. It was just a, a little tiny town. So why did they go there? Well, you see, um, the emperor at the time, Caesar Augustus, had ordered a census. That's when everybody has to go back to their hometown so that the family can be counted and they can find out how many people they have. And Joseph's family was from Bethlehem. Oh. The Bible says, so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. Oh, so really the emperor chose the place then? Oh, no. It was God's plan all along. Huh. That Jesus be born in that humble place. But why Bethlehem? I mean, Jesus is the king of heaven. He should have been born in the most glorious palace in the biggest city in all of Israel. Well, that would have been nice. But if he were born in a palace, then there would be gates and oh. guards to keep the common people out. And you would have to have an appointment just to see the king. Oh. But Jesus was born in a place where anyone who wanted to visit could come and see him. God sent Jesus to save all people. Not just a special few. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. The manger is like a symbol that shows us that anyone can come to Jesus. That's right. God's kingdom is open to everyone. There's no secret way to enter. You just come through Jesus. Amen. And speaking of secret scripture, mm -hmm. guy, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Ah, yes. I am Casey Carter. I know. I know that superheroes are supposed to have a secret identity, but after a while, I just thought that I needed to tell. Wait a minute. You knew? Well, yes, you only slipped and gave it away about a million times. <laughs> and now I have a secret to tell you as well. You're Scoop Gibson. Yes, how did you know? You and Scoop are the only two guys in town with a 60-inch chest. <laughs> that is true, I am sort of shredded. <laughs> well, there you have it. Everything is out in the open and honest. Now we no longer have any secrets between us. Well, I know one thing that's never been a secret between us. Our motto. <laughs> Let's all say it together, kids. We, we give, give everything, everything to honor our king! So long, kids. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.